Hi there, I hope you've all had a lovely weekend. I'm just here with my Gucci bag and a conversation I've had with a friend today has caused me to start thinking about the ethics of luxury purchases. Now, the good thing about these bags is they last a very long time. So even though one item or one product might cost a bit more, theoretically, if you look after it, it could last a lifetime. And that bag in comparison with 50 other El Cheapo bags, it may work out that the carbon footprint of a luxury bag is lesser. I don't know. I'm just rambling off some thoughts as I explore these ideas. So last week I talked about whether or not uh, it is ethical to have two coats when someone else has none and what the different ethical theories might advise a person sitting in the seat of decision as to whether or not they should give away or share their second coat. And now I wanted to discuss what it means ethically when we go out and buy a luxury item. And this is something that I never really thought of before until one day when I was doing an ethics paper, it was raised as an issue. Just because you have enough money to buy a luxury good, when you're thinking about that purchase in terms of ethics, is there any way to justify it? Now, we know that people who have money to buy luxury goods, the way they got their money is another question altogether. For example, if you work hard and society deems the work or the outputs that you provide to the market to be such that you're deserving of a high income, then obviously society or the market values your contribution enough to give you sufficient funds to actually go out and buy a luxury item. So in a way, society is rewarding your very valuable contributions. And why you decide to purchase a luxury item is another story altogether. Whether you want it as a status symbol or you want a good quality item or you like the aesthetics of the product, there are all kinds of reasons. But in terms of whether or not it is an ethical thing to buy a luxury good, well, when you go and buy a luxury good, you're obviously celebrating the fact that some way or another, you have an income or you have funds that support that purchase. So if it's we as a society that have said, yep, you provide a valuable contribution, so we're going to give you back X amount of dollars for what you've put into the market, then you should be able to decide how you go and spend that money. But the question that was raised in this particular section of the ethics paper that I was looking at said, is it really ethical to go and buy a certain item that costs maybe five to 10 times as much as a similar item elsewhere when that money could feed hungry people, when it could help people who are in desperate need? Is it ethical? And that this question boils down to what we owe to other people. So in essence, it really is the same question that we were entertaining last week. When you have more, is it your duty to share? People talk about giving back and helping out in the community. And we praise this as a good thing. But it's still a question, is it your duty? And again, that depends on which system of ethics or which rule book you play by. So let's take a look at the various systems and what their response to this question would be. Under utilitarianism, the goal is the greatest amount of happiness or the least amount of harm. So the idea is that we want the net happiness to be the highest amount possible. Now we've discussed that this is difficult to measure and subjective but it's about the general idea. And I guess then the person who is weighing up the options and making the decision will need to decide for themselves, according to their judgment, which option provides the greatest amount of happiness. And I think that according to utilitarianism, possibly buying fewer luxury goods and instead donating your money to help people who are starving would be the recommendation of that ethical theory. Secondly, what does virtue ethics say about purchasing luxury items? Well, virtue ethics is more concerned with the motivation of the purchaser. 
So if you were purchasing a luxury item because you wanted to show off and you wanted everyone to think that you were better than everyone else, then that would be a viceful purchase. If you were purchasing because you knew that you could be sure that this product was not produced with slave labor or produced in sweatshops where people work in horrible, uh, inhumane conditions, and you were purchasing this item because you know that you can be sure that the materials were, were all eth ethically sourced and the designers made some great contributions and their their aesthetic outputs were actually uh, very beautiful and they deserve recognition and they deserve society to applaud the beauty of them, then according to virtue ethics, it could be a virtuous purchase. But virtue ethics asks, what is your motivation? Finally, we have Kantianism. And what does Kantianism say about purchasing luxury goods? So the way we judge whether or not we should purchase luxury goods is we ask if it would make sense if the idea, the categorical imperative or the underlying idea that this action is based on, whether or not the construct of the exercise would fall apart. So if someone has more funds and they go and buy a luxury good, can everyone go and do that? Can everyone with more funds go and buy luxury goods? The answer, according to Kantianism, is yes, because the construct of a person with higher purchasing power buying luxury goods is not undermined by everyone with that purchasing power going out to do that. Gee, Kantianism is confusing. But suffice it to say, there is a big check under that theory. Yes, you can. Now, what do you personally think? Do you think that it is right for people who have worked hard or their parents have worked hard and they have the income that supports these big ticket items. Do you think it's right for them to purchase these items or not? By the way, I think I should clarify that this bag is actually eight years old. And so it's seen some pretty good use. And even though it's not exactly in mint condition, I still use it and I'm not checking it out because I do think that we live in a society where we waste a lot of things and we have a really bad throwaway culture. I know this is sounding like recycled material, but I'm not just jumping on the bandwagon. There are a lot of things that we could actually fix or repurpose somehow. And there's only a limited amount of resources. So we need to think carefully before buying something. Sometimes a better quality item will actually save your funds in the long run and it will be better for the environment. So I just thought I'd add that as well. Thank you so much for watching my video. I feel like sometimes I raise more questions than answers that I give. But at the end of the day, it's important to stop and take stock of what we do, the decisions we make, and to entertain different ideas and contemplate why it is that we make certain decisions and to raise real questions and think about whether or not there's a better way to do something. So if you have any thoughts on this topic, please let me know in the comments or DM me. And I'm always up for a good discussion about interesting ideas. Take care and peace out. Bye.